Adam Levine allegedly cheated on his wife and then tried naming their child after his mistress, the woman he had the alleged affair with, claims. Let us see what the fans on social media have said about this news. Of course, this is not something to be happy about because if it's true, then there should be consequences in place. However, let us first of all understand in the first place why will this social media girl just now expose Adam of the relationship? Didn't she know from the beginning that Adam was a married man? Didn't she know from the beginning that Adam had children? And why will she come up with the idea of exposing him just now? Anyways, let's see what the reaction is going to be. And don't forget to write in the comment what you feel should be moral about this case. All right. Again, Maroon 5 vocalist Adam Levine has been accused of cheating on his pregnant wife and wanting to name the child after his mistress. Levine trended on Twitter Philippines on Tuesday with 120,000 posts about his alleged affair with model named Samna Straw. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. But now, I just want us to realize something very important about all this information. The model Samna Straw comes out publicly saying that she had an affair with Adam Levine. It might be true, it might be false, I'm not a judge here, I'm just trying to connect the fact. Why would she just expose the relationship now? Why didn't she say no back then when Levine approached her? And if she had an affair with the man, why did she wait all this time before she can ring the bell? According to Shana Brooke on Facebook, she says, Let's remember and normalize the fact that cheating was never about a woman's lack of beauty, worth or anything for that matter, but instead a man's abundance of insecurities, unworthiness and desperation. Don't let men manipulate that reality. Okay, that's a quite true fact but we also have to understand that there are certain implications that are involved in any affair because Adam Levine I'm not defending his side I'm not pro or contra Adam Levine but I'm just trying to understand in a more critical way the concept of cheating Another post says, well girls, if ever our husbands will cheat on us, remember that it is never about our lack of beauty, worth or anything. Never blame yourself. Which is good, sister. Now, let's see this. After Adam Levine cheating on his wife, let's remember and normalize the fact that cheating was never about a woman's lack of beauty, worth or anything for that matter, but instead a man's abundance of insecurities, unworthiness and desperation. Don't let men manipulate that reality. And another guy says, Adam Levine on his wife, a Victoria's Secret model with an Instagram model. That is like going from Gucci to Walmart. If a man is going to cheat, he's going to cheat. They have been married for eight years. They have two children together and a third one on the way. It doesn't matter how beautiful you are or how much history you have. An unfaithful man will never be loyal if he doesn't want to be loyal. Feather proof. Ladies, sometimes it's better to focus on your own goals. Take yourself on dates. Buy yourself some nice things and remind yourself how incredible you are. Never let happiness or self-worth depend on a man. I bet 99% of the posts you'll see on social media about Adam Levine is against him. It's against Adam Levine. But what if we can change the scenario? What if we can change the concept a little bit? We all know that Adam Levine knew himself that he was married for eight years remember something guys adam levine knows for sure that he is married and has two kids and the third one is on the way any action that might have led him to commit this act which is which is called cheating we cannot really know what exactly is going on through adam levine and his wife in terms of relationship are they okay do they have any complications or is it a happy clappy family i'm not here to certify or to justify anything but i just want us to connect the thing because there's that thing at the back of your head that really troubles you 
knowing that you have your wife at home and kids and yet you have to cheat on her. Again, I repeat, I'm not defending Adam Levine if he committed this, but I'm just saying, let us try to understand the narrative. All right, that's one point. Point number two, about the girl, the Instagram model, Samna Straw, why would she wait all this time long to expose the man? Why did, at the, why did she, at the first place, say yes to Mr. Levine? And why did she choose to have an affair with him? All right, now, let us understand. We all use social media for quite some time, and we know that this girl is an influencer on social media. What if she's trying to use this to get more popularity? It happens. I mean, it's not the first time this thing is happening. We have seen actors, actress. We have seen singers that have been uh, defamed for having an affair with people out there. And some have even asked them for money. I'm not saying that the girl is asking for Levine's money or whatsoever. But it's just a reputation that is, be, that is being at stake right now. So it is favoring one side and defaming the other side. On this case, the girl, of course, if you go on her Instagram or whatever social media platform she uses, you see that she'll have more comment, more likes, more subscription, whatsoever, you name it. But what about the reputation of Mr. Levine? What about the wife of Mr. Levine's reputation in this picture? We have to be very critical on how we analyze and understand this problem because, of course, it's a problem if it really happened that way. But what are the causes, what are the causalities of this problem? I mean, comments are still coming in, coming in, coming in. One says, So Adam Levine is allegedly out here cheating on his Victoria's Secret model wife and mother of his kids. Plus, she has a car she's currently pregnant. He has the audacity to text the girlfriend and say if he has a boy, he would really like to name him after her. Dirt or dirty, calling Mr. Levine dirty. Okay. So most of this comment, guys, I want you to understand something very important. Most of this comment are actually coming from women. All right. I'm not here trying to be biased. I'm trying to understand the case in a more critical way. Why would Adam Levine suggest that if his son is going to be, his child is going to be a boy, is going to name him after the girlfriend if the girlfriend is a girl so i don't see any connection here a girl name being passed to a boy another comment came in saying the same man everyone praised adam levine for how he treated his wife was the same man who just cheated on his wife who is pregnant again she is a victoria's secret model absolutely beautiful and has had a long successful career and reportedly a great mom ladies this is just a proof a man cheating has nothing to do with you and everything to do with him so see the burger don't get surgery for no man. Secure the bag and love your life. Truth is still the truth. We don't know what is going on with Adam Levine in his relationship, right? I mean, people seem to be happy outside, but inside you don't know what is happening with them. So we gotta, re we gotta be really careful on how we judge or how we try to interfere in relationship affairs. Of course, that's a scandalous thing that nobody wants something like this to be done to him or her. But in this case, let us use our senses to understand this case clearly. But among all the comments that we have seen so far, among all the comments that we have read so far, this is one of the comments that really caught my attention. Listen to what Mr. Jason Dawson says. Cheating is a choice of both parties. You can't blame the cheat alone. The other person that consented the act is as liable. Adam Levine might be playing the sugar daddy and with his popularity, I believe the girl has known him as a married celebrity. What will drive a young woman to agree to become an, an accessory to cheating? Whatever her reason is, that doesn't change the fact that she made a huge mistake by having an affair with Adam. This isn't a one night stand thingy which would have been less difficult for Bahati to consider forgiveness.
The couple are actually expecting their third child and with all this going on, this will be the next celebrity scandal people are going to talk about, not because gossip is their best team, but because of its relevance to our modern day romantic relationships. I really think that if your likelihood to cheat is above the roof and you just can't help it, stay single. You can do bad things with other unattached singles if that satisfies you. But when you are committed to your partner, make sure it will only be your secret so no one else will ever know, which is unlikely to happen. Chrissy Aldis on Facebook said, As always, the side chick is a downgrade. She should have had enough self-respect to say, No, you are married. Side chicks always want to play victim and hold no accountability, especially when they realize their husband has no intention on ever leaving his wife. I'm so disappointed with this narcissistic behavior and have so much sympathy for his wife. Chrissy, thank you so much for this comment. And Danielle responds, I have seen a few posts referring to Adam Levine cheating on his wife, telling people to be mad at the man and not the female involved in the affair. Okay, that's a given. Of course, he is a trash. And we all know that at the end of the day, he's the only one that owed her true loyalty. But the reason the mistress is catching heat is because as women, we should support each other and not partake in something that will destroy another woman and bring her world crashing down around her. We all know most men aren't worth a damn, but as a woman, but as women, we should know better and better, especially if you ever felt that pain, period. Also, the mistress doesn't even refer to Adam's wife by her name, just calls her Victoria's Secret Supermodel, which is disrespectful. Alright guys, so here's my conclusion upon all these comments and statements. I think if the action really happened, the two of them are responsible and the two of them are to be the two of them are to be blamed. Because there is no way this Instagram model whatsoever will be involved with an with a married man and not wanting to say no. Of course, we, we live in a world that freedom of speech is being spoken all over. So you should have known from the very beginning that I'm dealing with somebody who's married and has got two kids. Why didn't you say no? And on the other hand, Mr. Levine, okay, he's an artist, he's a popular guy, and we know he might have also um, private affair that he doesn't want to reveal, but this type of situation, it's also defaming your career because it leaves you with bad marks. So if this really happened, I pray and hope, Mr. Levine, that you really take some huge lesson through this action that next time you'll try to do better and be a loving and a loyal husband for your wife. And I hope your wife can really find a good spot to forgive you. A couple of hours later, following CNN, Adam Levine responds to all these allegations. Following the allegations that he cheated on his wife Behati Prinslow and wanted to name their children after his alleged mistress, Adam Levine is speaking out. He said, A lot is being said about me right now and I want to clear the air. The Maroon 5 frontman wrote in a statement on his verified Instagram stories on Tuesday, I used poor judgment in speaking with anyone other than my wife in any kind of flirtatious manner. Levine wrote, I did not have any affair. Nevertheless, I crossed the line during regrettable period in my life. Levine broke his silence after Instagram model Sumner Stroll went viral with a TikTok video in which she said she dated Levine for about a year and shared Instagram messages she said were from him and appeared to be linked to his verified account. At the time, I was young, I was naive, and quite frankly, I feel exploited, Stroh said. Lavigne, she said, reached out to her after things had ended with a request. He said, okay, serious question. I'm having another baby, and if it's a boy, I really want to name it Samna, she said, reading the alleged message aloud. You okay with that? Dead serious. 
Lavin and his model wife of eight years recently revealed that they are expecting their third child. In certain instances, it became inappropriate. I have addressed that and taken proactive steps to remedy this with my family, Levin wrote in his statement. My wife and my family is all I care about in this world. To be this naive and stupid enough to risk the only thing that truly matters to me was the greatest mistake I could ever make, he wrote. I will never make it again. I take full responsibility. We will get through it and we will get through it together. On Monday, Stroh posted another video to share some of the things she wished she had said in her first video including how remorseful she feels and how she went public because a friend was attempting to sell her account to a tabloid. This information we actually got from CNA. Now let's just get it straight. Sumner was using all this information to defame the artist's name so that she can preserve, so that she can keep her TikTok account because somebody was attempting to do it, to sell her account. There you have it, guys. I was, it's like I wasn't defending Mr. Levine, but I just wanted to actually understand the causality of the problem. And here we have it. Like, it is a misinformation, misinterpretation, and reputation of a great artist that Lavin is. We pray and hope that everything gets settled down with Lavin's family and that all these things will be overtaken.